Active and Attribute Variables An active variable is a variable that can be manipulated. An attribute variable is a variable that cannot be manipulated by an experimenter. Some variables can be either active or attribute depending on how they are used in the experiment. Dependent variables are the focus of any project. They are influenced by the independent variables. They are the behaviors or effects that are changed. The active variable is the independent variable. It can be manipulated. The attribute variable can be independent or dependent. These variables cannot be manipulated or are manipulated by nature. For example, age. Independent versus dependent variables. On a graph, the dependent variable is on the y-axis and the independent variable is on the x-axis. Another way to categorize variables is as, a continu is as continuous or categorical. Continuous variables are displayed using a line graph. Categorical values variables um, have more than two categories, equal to or more than two categories, but they are displayed using a bar graph. For example, tones can be presented to the ear binaurally or monaurally. Some factors can be treated as both continuous and categorical. Other variables include extraneous variables, which are also known as confound variables or nuisance variables. These get in the way of the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable. The control variable is when the extraneous factors are identified and kept constant so as to minimize these effects on the outcome. It is not possible to identify and control for all extraneous variables. What are some things that we can control for? The testing environment, subject instructions, subject attributes, 